And welcome back, guys, to Master Reboot. Uh, last episode, we uh, basically explored our, I guess, uh, memories of the uh, park memory altogether. I wonder if you could kind of go back. You can go back, which is interesting. Oh, hey, look at this. It's actually new. So actually, we did complete the park memory last time. Uh, the puzzle involved in it and everything. After we did so, we saw a little bit of a cutscene where it was kind of like, you know, a guy and a girl in the park. Uh, carving their initials into a tree. Very romantic altogether, but in the looming background, we saw essentially Grim Reaper looking in through the, uh, I guess, to the threes and whatnot, which kind of leads you to believe that, you know, it's kind of like, you know, hunting for somebody, you know, that's kind of what death does. If Final Destination has taught me anything, is that what it, that's what it does. Or that, or like, dead like me. By the way, a great show. You should really check out. Unfortunately, it got canceled a little bit early, but hey, what can you do? Might as well go down the line, I suppose, uh, you know, because love isn't always on time, as, uh, you know, that M and D uh, heart initial thing in the tree was. Love isn't always on time, especially when debt's involved, so let's go into the school memory here and see what's, what's about it. What's about it, about it, I should say, I could say that, um... Not entirely too pleased with myself with that reference, but, you know, about it, about it or not. Okay. Well, um, definitely not feeling the vibe for this one already. So now I'm in a classroom all together. By the way, these are really nice, uh, I guess seats and like, you know, I guess tables and whatnot for kids to learn. <laughs> I had like the shittiest tables growing up as a child, Jesus Christ. And imagine I went to like the most ghetto school imaginable. I used to have this a seat in the floor. The floor was my table in reality. No, it really wasn't, but might as well have been. Alright, so let's see here, um, whatever that was that kind of looked at us with those creepy eyes, was kind of drawing this here, which is, I guess, Hopscotch. That was amazing in Hopscotch, by the way. So we have what appears to be Saturn, a musical note, and a paintbrush. What's going on behind me? Okay, nothing. Alright, you're tripping out. Um, the paintbrush and the rings of Saturn have blue, while the musical note does not. That has anything to do with anything, I don't know, but apparently I can't even interact with this. So it probably has nothing to do with it yet. Yet. I stress the yet. So let's get out of here and see what uh, waits for us down over here. Well, that's going to be the way to get back if I need to get back. Something just happened here. What? What was... What the hell did I... Okay. Not entirely sure what I just opened, but I opened something that kind of pushed me, so I'm not really too thrilled about that. I guess it was just a random locker that I opened in the dark. You know, it's too dark. I can't even tell. There was... Okay. All right, dude. Stop freaking out. They're just lockers that you're opening. Nothing to be scared of. Okay. Can't open those either. All right. So, okay. Nope. Nope. I'm not going to play this game with you. Okay. So game is starting to get creepy now, so that's, uh, <laughs> it's bound to happen, I suppose. Oh, uh, it's fucking dark as shit over here, by the way, man. Can I get, like, a flashlight or something? Would that be too cliche for, like, a so? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I suppose I should play play it in that tune. Get out of there, duck! You're just a duck. You have no thumbs. You can't or fingers for that matter. You can't play the piano, as much as uh, Ducktales has uh, you know led you to believe otherwise. Why is there just light here? Okay, either way, let's go ahead and grab this duck here. Physics notes: uh, V minus F. Okay, well you know what? This doesn't even make any sense to me. If it did, believe me, I'd have a better job and I'd be probably living a better life. Okay, so... Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I'm not entirely sure why I have to get all mad about me pressing that, by the way. So it's gonna be... Dun, 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 dun. That's not it. Alright, I know game, I'm aware. I'm just trying to get a feel for the notes. No, that's not it. So this is going to be the first one here. No. So it's the middle one, the last one to the left. Got to figure out the last note, though. There we go. 
All right, so we got one of them down. Now again, those red ones are supposed to be the quote-unquote maintenance cubes, so um, not entirely sure what that even means, but you know, that's pretty much it. So let's proceed now. That was a pretty good puzzle, by the way. I, I knew that one, believe me, that one wasn't hard. It wasn't me failing. I was honestly, the game doesn't let you just kind of like play with the notes all together before it resets. So that was basically what was happening there. Okay, so there's a lot of beakers here, so I assume that I'm going to probably need to go back and get that one that was in the uh, desk over here. Is it going to allow me to do that this time? Though? I tried to do it before, but I guess it was kind of like, no, it's not time for that just yet. Can't let you do that yet, Davey. Okay, apparently you can't let me do it now either. All right, hell. <laughs> there are more beakers here, though. I kind of miss uh, chemistry. It was a fun class. You know, it was a fun class had I actually done my work, and you know, in reality, had I done my work, I'd probably be in a better situation in life, as I already mentioned. It was a fun class because I kind of dicked around a little bit too much and just kind of messed with stuff and, you know, turned myself blue and whatnot. I don't know, it was kind of a situation. It was kind of a dare, you know, my friend was kind of like, dare you drink this, kind of like, no, man, I'm not going to do that. It's kind of like, what, you pussy? It's like, can't call me a pussy, not in high school. You know, hospital visits involved and everything like that, and you know, hey, at least eventually I got my color back, so that was a plus, I suppose. Oh, nothing in these swash. Okay. Well, that was... Where did that duck... Oh, there was a duck in the sink. <laughs> Alright, asteroid binary. 512, 256... Okay. Okay, I'm not entirely sure this even does anything for us. I'm over here trying to, like, inspect it, like, as close as possible. We're not even entirely sure if there's a premise for it. Uh, 21 grams? Wavelengths to the brain? I don't even know. Insane in the brain? Oh, I... Cypress Hill referenced again, somehow. Alright, so... Doesn't seem like there's much for us here yet. So let us proceed, I suppose. Okay, nothing with these lockers. Nothing with these lockers. Ominously glowing lights, huh? Okay. Don't leave me in the dark now, okay? Don't, let's not do this. Not with this weird red-eyed girl running around. She's probably the one that was in the park, just kind of giggling at us, by the way. Believe me, I pick up on these things. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's one of those uh, things again. I talked to us last time in a very, very creepy way. What do you have to say this time? A being as wicked and ugly as you cannot be good. Well, you know what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, buddy, so you know, or is that how the phrase goes? I don't know. Who knows? All I know is that Jim Carrey and Liar Liar taught me that's just something ugly people say, so hey. <laughs> okay, either way. Let's... Alright, it's another one of these beakers. Alright, so this is the second one of these beakers I found, but apparently I can't do much with them. I wish I could, but I can't, so that's fine. So now we know there's two of them, so if we ever do need them for some reason, we know that there's one there and... One in the hallway? Yeah, I already checked that. Don't scare me like that, dick. Nothing here. Alright, so now let's get, I guess, to rotating these guys. That would probably be the, uh, premise of this puzzle. So let's see here. Now, here's the question. Am I supposed to be staring at this from some sort of angle like this? In, or is it just, you know, alone, singular by itself? Like, you know what I'm getting at, right? Like, you know how there's, like, a green line over here? Am I supposed to connect this to that and make it, like, a hole? Or is it, like, you know, just rotate it and do it by per? Hmm. I wish there... Oh, okay. Why do I get the feeling this is what we're supposed to emulate over here? Green, a lot of, like, neutrons and protons and a nucleus. All right. So let's assume that we're supposed to emulate that picture there. Well, haven't I done it? No? Got a fucking sword, that was it. Huh. But then there's the purple one also is uh, highlighted as well. What is this, a Starry Night? Vincent Van Gogh picture? Okay, so maybe... But the Van Gogh one is done as well, isn't it? Well, apparently, it was just a matter of... <laughs> you motherfucking game, I swear to God. So, after, uh... 
<laughs> I had the right idea in mind. Apparently, I did the, um... I guess that would make sense had I been looking at the picture from this angle and thinking, oh, I should be able to look at it over here. And if I went over here, I'd be able to look at it from this angle. I basically did the puzzle reverse. I put the, I guess, neutron or atom all together from this angle. And then I put the uh, Starry Night picture from this angle. All right, so there you go. It's basically a lot easier if you aren't, uh, you know, basically borderline retarded like I am. So there you go. There's that puzzle done and wit. So, now that that basically has uh, pretty much uh, humiliated my wits altogether, let's just proceed here and see what this next classroom has in mind for us. I still wonder whether those beakers have anything to do altogether with what's going on here. I suppose they have to do at some point, right? So we're going to be looking at astronomy class, another class that I should have probably paid more attention of instead of, you know, just passing uh, nose back and forth, back and forth with a girl that was basically out of my league. And that's the reason why I never proceeded from anything else and just no passing notes to her. And, uh, you know, I'm very beta, apparently. Okay. Alright, cool. That's gonna teleport me into space, which is fine. Basically, why wouldn't it at this point? Um, so if... I wish I had a better understanding of planets here. So what is this gonna do for us? Not entirely sure, but I could activate it. So let's activate it. Oh, is this like a memory game? Oh, god damn it. I should have paid attention to what was that. Okay, I think it was Earth. This is probably a lot easier if you have any understanding of astronomy already and you kind of knew the alignment of the planets altogether. But I don't. So let's see here. Let's start off from the front. <laughs> That's what she said. So uh, let's see uh, what we got up here. Is that nothing over there? All right. So the first one I do believe was in this guy. Oh, it was actually the, yeah, it was this guy, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. And then the second one was not you because you're kind of the same one as the one up front. It wasn't you either. I think it was this guy. And then we were Earth, third rock from the sun. Thank you, John Litko. And uh, I was about to call him Jonathan Taylor Thomas. It's not Jonathan Taylor Thomas. What is it? Uh, JGG or what? I don't know. These guys with all these goddamn acronyms in their names. At least me believe here. So, nope, Saturn, you don't belong here. You belong down the line. Let's see here. You're the next one, actually. Not right now. Nope. Okay. I believe that's what it was. And then over here we had the kind of... Yeah, that that's you. That's where you belong. Okay, let's see here. I believe this should be Saturn, if I'm correct. Yep. Saturn should be there. And let's see here. Not you, the gr Okay, that was, I think the blue one is the one that we needed there. What would the blue one be? Mercury, maybe? Who knows? I assume that's it, but I'm probably wrong. I'm terrible with my planets nowadays. There we go. Then, basically, I'm going by this by color, by the way. <laughs> I thought the next one should be green. So I'm looking for the green planet. Fuck your name, you're just gonna be uh, coordinated by your color altogether, and then this one should be uh, the mini one altogether. Not you. Not you either. There we go. Now the planets are rising in the air. Or in space, I should say, altogether, revolving around the Earth. Because the Earth's kind of a really self-centered individual. Everything's about me. And there we go. The third cube is lit up now. So I'd assume that we are pretty much done here. Now, hopefully, we can just kind of get back without, you know, triggering this woman to get too angry at us. Ah! Oh, God. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm pressing E. I'm pressing E. Oh, my fucking God. Fuck, fuck you, game. All right, you don't do... <laughs> Oh god, okay. I saw the duck up there. I was gonna grab the duck and then the Oh my fucking god. Okay. Fuck that shit. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm sorry, my heart's just trying to I'm trying to pretty much pull my heart down my throat again. Okay, Astrid Peterson form G. You're not really good at English, Astrid, it's just terrible. English should be really easy. 
Uh, Welsh. Uh, Welsh is there. By the way, interesting fact, the, the game is made by uh, Wales Interactive. It's going to be the first Welsh uh, game with like actual Welsh language involved. You can actually switch the game over to Welsh if you want, which is pretty cool. Uh, grade B, Matt's, Matt's A+. Plus. Well, apparently Matt's is A+. Plus. Matt's is plural, Matt's, not just one Matt. Biology, physics, chemistry, etc., etc. Form tutor notes, Astrid is an intelligent, hardworking pupil. If she applied herself in every subject, not just Matt's, I'm sure she would succeed. Oh, okay, well, you know what? If this game applied itself by not scaring the fucking ever-living shit out of me, then I would succeed as well. Jesus Christ, that was goddamn terrifying. It was well done, too, because I was not expecting that to happen, honestly. I... Okay, Duck, I see you there. I'm not entirely sure I kind of want to mess with you, considering what just happened. Oh, fuck. It's like, I, I, I wasn't expecting like a jump scare. Obviously, it's a jump scare, obviously, but it's it's well done because you're not expecting it at all. Why is there a fucking dolphin in here? A dolphin. Dolphin, you shouldn't be in the pool, dolphin. You don't belong here. You're going to die in a pool. This is a natural body of water. Patterson Twins Scoop Prizes. Okay. What was that? Is there anything back here? Oh, okay. There is a little area. Oh! <gasps> Okay. 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 Callie Patterson. Mr. D. Johnston was disruptive in class, threatening behavior towards other students. Homework diary has also been coveted in graffiti. Please report to class number 2G at the end of your final period. Ah, detention. You know what? I never had detention in high school. I had a detention a few times in middle school. I don't think my high school even had detention. I think people just wanted to get us out of there. It's kind of like you're a terrible student, whatever. Get the hell out of here. It's a lot easier for us to deal with you with you this way. Send you off to your parents to be a dick. Why should we be uh, bothered to stay here an extra two hours at work when, you know, we have to just kind of like punish you in reality? What was detention in reality? All they do is have you sit there and like, you know, work on your homework or something. Like that wasn't supposed to accomplish something. It really wasn't. It's kind of like, yeah, cool, you're making me sit here an extra two hours. Okay. I'm not exactly too comfortable with this electrical surge below this thing that looks like water. No, okay, well, I could mess with... Well, I flushed the toilet. It's good. Probably somebody should flush the toilet around. Okay, there's a duck here. UEI. UE1. Red. Green. Oh, I remember this game. I forget what it's called exactly, but you're supposed to write numbers and, like, you know, words and, like, cars and whatnot. Kind of a fun little game growing up. Okay, you will die young, you will be rich. Right, exactly. Your best... Basically, it's kind of a little uh, thing where... Count the number of times they kind of flip this thing back and forth, back and forth, and you get your future written red and whatnot. You know, if anything, it's a lot more uh, predictable than Miss Cleo, that's for sure. You beat friend, your best friend will. You will live, you will go crazy, you will... Murdered? You will be murdered forever alone. A story of my life. Alright, so, um, that was kind of depressing altogether, but let's just proceed on here. Let's flush this toilet as well. That one definitely needed a flush. Apparently I just kicked this bucket. I'm kind of pissed off. Apparently, uh, I came to the school and now I'm janitor for the school. Maybe depressed myself, honestly. All right, let's proceed here. I just kind of want to go back, guys. Honestly, uh, not to sound like, you know, J uh, Jack from Lost, but I really just want to go back and, okay, there's the exit itself. Good. Good. I've been scared enough of this fucking level altogether. It's not letting me go back, though. Gotta go back, Kate. Well, this is the class, right, isn't it? It should be. What's... Okay. There we go. So turn on the switch and that'll give us the exit to go back and... Felt like that scare fucking shut a few years off of my life altogether. Jesus Christ. Alright guys, and uh, sorry if this is gonna be like a, a weird little jump and whatnot, apparently my game crashed so I kinda had to redo that whole portion again. There's no saves in between, there's no little quick saves so I had to kinda go through the whole puzzles and whatnot again. Thankfully this time around I kinda knew exactly what to do so it wasn't that bad, so uh, without further ado, let's kind of uh, avoid uh, releasing the immersion so far. This game is getting quite uh, <laughs> interesting, that's for sure. This kinda looks like the Mysterion logo. In a weird sense. Let's go up here. More than likely, we might have to rearrange that to look like the logo, right? Assume that's pretty much what we have to do. That, yeah, there's something over there for us. So yeah, let's just go back up here. And uh, hopefully, 
get to the bottom of this here. Okay, so yeah, exactly as I thought. So more puzzles and whatnot. That's pretty cool. So let's see here what we can move around. So yeah, more than likely this is going to be the Mysterion logo altogether. Wow. Let's see if I actually remember how it looked like. I know it was kind of like, alright, so it, yeah, there it is. Well, I have it already. It's just not facing the proper way. And there we go. Alright, so that's going to open that up for us. Uh... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not entirely sure yet. Hopefully it's a way to get back to the Hub City, though. Because, um, don't want to kind of deal with that pissed off woman anymore, that's for sure. This is a really great image right here, by the way. This is... I'm really impressed by the artistic. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna continue filleting this game by its artistic value, believe me. It's nothing crazy, nothing like... Like, oh, yeah, amazing graphics. All right, and the Patterson twins, right? Scoop the prizes, and then there's David involved with Madrid, I believe, Mandrid, whatever her name was. Who knows? DNM that we saw in the uh, park altogether. I wonder if one, uh, probably much the twins, like they kind of fell for the dude altogether, both of them, and who knows? Huh? I can only speculate at this point. So, before we wrap up this episode, let's check out. We missed out one of the ducks over here. We got this one though. It seems we got most of them. We missed one, no, which is this the first one. Who knows what that was? All right. And really quickly, just so I could kind of, uh... Yeah, David, Madison, and Astrid. All right. So Madison and David end up together. I wonder if, like, Madison and Astrid had, like, a bit of a falling out due to it. Who knows? All right. Well, either way, guys, uh, so far, hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. Um, apparently, um, whatever that creature or woman with the red eyes is uh, about, she's finally on our tail now. So that's going to definitely complicate things further on. That's for sure. Um, at least, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the series, though, so far. I really am, aside from that bullshit fucking scare that, you know, Jesus Christ. Either way, um, hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, be sure to leave it in the likes and the comments and whatnot, and let me know what you'd like to see more of and less of and whatnot. Everything's good all the time. Um, really interested in your, uh, what you have to say in terms of, uh, altogether the, uh, content for this series altogether. So, be sure to do so. Either way, guys, I hopefully you're enjoying it so far, and I'll catch you next time.